düşüb baxcamızın bülbül Saralıbdır cicəyiz, olubdur gülü, solubdur gülü A dostlar, yanı bəvlərimiz qalıbdır külü Oyanan qəbirləri könlüm istəyir Oyanan evləri könlüm istəyir Haqqımız yox danışmağa dağlardan Azad eləməsək biz yağlardan İndi qariblişdi məni ağladan İndi qariblişdi məni ağladan Oyanan qəbirləri könlüm istəyir Oyanan evləri könlüm istəyir Hər bir xalqın özünə məxsus adət ənənəsi Musiqisi olduğu kimi, bizim Azərbaycan xalqının da çox gözəl adət ənirləri var. Azərbaycan xalqı nə qədər ki, yaşayır Azərbaycan xalqı var, Azərbaycan dini var, buğam da var. Həmli vaxtlarda, matəmlərdə ifa olunsun, həm də şikad günündə ifa olunur. Onun daxilində həm həyat var, həm məhəbbət var. Həm ölüm var, böyüya var. I grew up in the United States and you know, we didn't know about this, this part of the world. Nobody taught us anything. It's not in the books, it's not in the schools. People in the West are aware of the presence of other cultures and how they've enriched our lives. Azerbaijan belongs in that uh, framework of the, uh, the cultural resources that everyone should have access to. My first visit was in 1989. It was still the Soviet Union, and the heavy atmosphere of oppression was palpable. People wanted their freedom, and few were paying attention to Mugam at the time. During the following years, Armenia, with assistance from Russian troops, invaded Azerbaijan and ethnically cleansed the region known as mountainous Karabakh and the surrounding territories of all Azerbaijanis. When I was living in Karabakh, we was getting together with Armenians, Azerbaijans, and listening to Muam together. All music, Muam came from Karabakh, and history of Muam is from Karabakh. Following the Armenian invasion of Karabakh in 1991, over one million Azerbaijanis fled their homelands seeking safety in animal railway containers and government-established tent camps. I needed to know how could Muram possibly survive this disaster. So in the year 2000, I organized an expedition to the refugee camps. When I first visited the refugee camps, I was astonished and delighted to discover that children could sing and play Mugam, this intricate, nuanced musical tradition, music that I'd been struggling for years just to get the basics of. I thought, how is this possible? The children from Garabakh are known throughout Azerbaijan for their amazing ability to sing and play Muram. The tradition was alive and well. And we aren't talking about one or two child prodigies. We are talking about dozens, even hundreds of children from Garabakh singing their hearts out. It was incredible. One young teenage boy caught my attention. 
he sang with great feeling and passion about the loss of his homeland. His poetry was expressive beyond his years. Çölüm isteyin, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee, eee,